They're a pair of movies based on true stories. The man with the real opinion lets us know what he thought of Everest and Pawn Sacrifice. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two movies based on true stories. One is about a group of climbers trying to conquer Everest. The other is about an eccentric chess player. Here are a couple of quick reviews for two films that you may want to consider or not consider checking out. First up is Everest. Films based on real-life events can be tricky because you can't really negotiate the number of people involved and cover them all fully. I think that was my main problem with Everest. While I thought it was a beautiful looking and very well acted film, many of the characters that were in the movie didn't get the time they needed to be fully developed. I believe the filmmakers felt that the situation would be enough to make you care for the many people involved in this expedition. Sure, you do feel for them because the actors behind the parts are just that good, but most of the characters are very underdeveloped. If this film were in the hands of lesser actors, it would not have worked. That being said, I also feel that if this film were longer to develop those characters, it would have felt stretched. So I feel the filmmakers did make the right choice. In the end, this is not a happy or triumphant film, even when good things happen to the characters. The feeling of impending and eventual doom outweighs any and all happy moments of the story. This is one that I'm glad I saw, but will probably never watch again. Next up is Pawn Sacrifice. I have been interested in American chess player Bobby Fischer ever since seeing the film Searching for Bobby Fischer. Now, I'll never be good at chess, but the idea of people being that good at a game intrigues me. Pawn Sacrifice shows what Bobby Fischer possibly went through mentally for a lot of his life. It shows the paranoia that he may have dealt with, feeling he was being followed, his rooms being bugged, the Russians were out to destroy him, etc. It's pretty compelling stuff, but it is also the problem with this movie. Near the end, the film almost abandons these sayings during what is labeled the biggest match of his career. You don't look well, Robert James. Fisher is suddenly able to focus in a situation that he was never able to focus in before. At times, the story tries to convince us that maybe Fisher is faking his condition to throw the Russians off their game, but his character clearly has a mental condition. He acts certain ways when he is alone that he wouldn't if he were faking. Still, this is a pretty compelling film with some pretty good acting. Leif Schreiber is great in this as Fisher's rival, Boris Spassky, but I felt he was a bit underused. I mostly like this one despite the minor missteps near the end. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.